Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Penafinalia where we talk about pen paraphernalia. And uh, you know, all those stationary nerds out there know exactly what I'm talking about. The pen habit is more than just the pens, it's even more than just the ink, it's all the other crap you get to buy along with it. So, uh, today we are talking about another product from Franklin Christoff. This is the Franklin Christoph Command Center Folio. So this is a leather folio uh, that is, is made by the Franklin Christoph Company here in the United States. Uh, they recently moved their leather facilities to, I believe it's North Carolina, to the Carolinas at least, where they are located. Uh, I believe before that it was in Texas. Let me just walk you through this. Um, the Command Center Folio, again I mentioned is leather, comes in a variety of different colors, uh, comes in black and brown and black. Uh, it's hard to tell, this is the brown and black version. This section here is brown, the edges are black, but they're both so close in color it's really hard to tell the difference, even when I'm not underneath the bright video lights. Uh, so for all intents and purposes, unless you look really closely, it looks just black. Um, they come in three sizes. They come in the A6, which is their small size, and that sells for $69.50. The A5 sells for $99.50, and the A4 sells for a whopping $125. Uh, this is the A4 version, obviously, because it's massive. Uh, and I got this as something that I could use to put my work notebooks in, because I carry notebooks back and forth uh, to all of the meetings that I sit through instead of actually getting work accomplished. And uh, so I wanted something a little nice to, to put my notebooks in. The Folio comes with either your choice of either a top load notepad in one of their ruling formats. They've got, I believe, blank, dot ruled, lined, and graph ruled, although some are not always available. Um, and then they have, uh, you can also get a side bound journal, which I've talked about in a different video. I opted for the journal, so I got the A4 dot grid journal, um, and that worked out really well for me. So uh, that's, it comes as part of the price. So you can, you know, that the journal itself for the A4 is $19, I believe. So you can knock 19 bucks off the price and that will give you a sense of what the, the folio is just by itself. Although you can't buy it just by itself. Uh, on the outside, very nice kind of taupe colored stitching along all of the joints here. It has a nice zippered pouch on the front that, is gusseted at the top, so you can actually slip, like if you have an iP uh, iPad mini will fit in here, your phone, things like that. I don't put anything in here because I carry a backpack to and from work with me, so I don't need to do that. On the back, you have the Franklin Christoph logo here, and uh, with the Gothic F and the four diamonds, as they have on all their, their things. Another nice thing to point out is, like most, if not all, of the Franklin Christoph products, they have these cut-off corners. So if, like me, you're the kind of person who does not like to get their corners all bent up, this is a, a nice design feature. From the outside, I like this a lot. Things get a little less rosy from the inside, and let me show you what I mean. So on the inside, I open it up, and I've I've got the Ro a Rhodia notebook in here now. I'll pull this out for a moment so you can see the, the bones. Um, on the left side, you've got a nice kind of fabric there, uh, kind of a, a, a fabric with nice solid plastic lining, it feels like. A little flap here for loose papers. I actually use a, uh, a wad of, or keep a wad of folded up paper towels right here in case I have any ink explosions in the middles of meetings, so I don't have to go up, go out and get some uh, paper towels. I'd usually keep them right there. On the right-hand side, you've got this elastic strap, which rolls around to the back, so you can use it to fold, or to uh, keep your folio closed. And then on the inside, you've got, here on the right, you can either use a top-load notepad, so you can slide it in that way, or a side-load notebook, which you can slide in this way. Then they've got uh, a double pen loop here, and the pen loop is elasticized on the back. So you can actually put very large pens in there. So this is my Franklin Christoph Model 19, and that will fit in, but you have to use a fair bit of force to get it to fit in. So, um, but, but you can fit some fairly decent sized pens in there if you want to. 
Uh, where I'm a little less enamored with the interior, and I don't know how well you can see this. I'm going to try to pull this a little closer uh, up here in particular. The stitching on the inside starts to get kind of sloppy. You can see especially right here. Um, and if you're a little OCD like I am, uh, that sort of thing just stands out, especially because it's such a light thread on dark material, especially right there. That just drives me crazy. The other problem I have, and I don't know if you can see this, but the edges of this over here on the right-hand side curl. Uh, it's like they weren't cut to the right size or they weren't sewn properly. Again, you've got sloppy stitching across the top and, uh, and it curls up. So that's problematic for me because when I've got a notebook in here, let me unfold this and put the notebook back in. You know, it just slips in like that. Um, it's a little tight, but uh, that's actually good. Keep the notebook in place. When you get toward the end of your notebook, it, it won't lay flat. So it's, you know, if you're writing here, I find myself having to hold the paper down and write. And I just, I don't like that. It's one of the reasons I use notebooks instead of journals is because I like to be able to lay it flat and I don't have to worry about holding the paper down to write. I can just write one-handed. Um, so that... Those two things, the sloppy stitching and the fact that these edges curl up, kind of drive me a little crazy. Now, normally I wouldn't worry about it, but for a folio that costs as much as this does, I kind of expect it to be perfect. Um, maybe that's an unrealistic expectation, but this is not this is not a natural material here. This is plastic. It's a hard plastic liner on the back. Um, this really shouldn't be curling up like this. I think this is a manufacturing issue. And especially, what makes me think that especially is the sloppy stitching that they've got along the edges here. That just, that doesn't feel like it's well manufactured, which is unfortunate because most of Franklin Christoph's stuff is really fantastic. Um, so the other little minor thing that I don't love, I don't love this little elastic. I know some people really like the elastic to keep their stuff closed. To me, it just gets in the way. Uh, you know, it's fine when it's actually closed. Um, what I've ended up doing is actually doing, putting it like this behind the back cover. But then again, that's just one extra thing underneath the paper that screws up my writing when I get to the edge. Um, in theory, on this A4 version, which is the only version I have, you should be able to use either an A4 or a eight and a half by 11 notebook if you're here in the United States where we have yet to join the rest of the world and get to standard size paper, just like we haven't gone to the metric system, but don't get me started. Um, I, I feel like the pen loop placement is a little weird. It would have been better almost to be on this side because it's underneath the paper. And I use these little tabs here to uh, indicate my you know, each individual week at work so I can go back and say, oh, this was my to-do list for the week. And so with that, I don't really get to access the pen loops or I have to pull the pen so it's outside the folio, which none of these things are big deals. None of these things are deal breakers. I still use this every day. I still like it a lot. I've gotten comments on it. It looks really nice. There are just a few details that I really would have loved to gotten to, to get cleaned up. And for something that costs $125 uh, for what is essentially a leather wrapped folder, I really would have liked to have seen slightly higher attention to detail. So if you have any questions, please head over to penhabit.com and join the conversation over there. Or you can follow me on the social medias. Uh, this has been my review of the Franklin Christoph A4 Command Center Folio in the black and brown leather. And we will see you here next time on pen Penifinalia slash The Pen Habit. Have a good one. Bye. Hey, everyone. Welcome to an episode of Penifinalia where we talk about the paraphernalia of pens. And those of us who have that very healthy or unhealthy, rather, addiction to... Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Penifinalia, where we talk about all the stuff that goes along with pens that just, uh, where... Damn it.